button sewing foot. Sewing on four whole buttons. The button sewing foot is great for attaching buttons with four holes. To attach the foot, slide the bar onto the back of the presser foot holder and then lower it to snap the foot into place. Some Janome machines have a button sew on feature which will automatically lower the feed dogs. Or you can use a zigzag stitch, but be sure to lower feed dogs manually. Position the button so the needle will be sewing in the two holes at the rear of the button. When the needle goes down, it should be in the middle of the left hole. To check this, use the hand wheel on the machine to lower the needle. The rubber extensions hold your button while it is being sewn on. When the back two holes are stitched, raise the needle. Move the button forward to sew in the front set of holes. Position the button as before, using the hand wheel to test the position of the needle. Sew the front two holes. The machine will tie it off automatically. Raise the needle and cut the thread. Button Sewing Foot Sewing on two hole buttons The button sewing foot makes sewing on two hole buttons fast and easy. To attach the foot, slide the bar onto the back of the presser foot holder and then lower it to snap the foot into place. Some Janome machines have a button sew on feature which will automatically lower the feed dogs. Or you can use a zigzag stitch, but be sure to lower the feed dogs manually. Set your button under the foot and lower it in place. The rubber extensions will hold your button while it is being sewn on. Position the button so the needle goes into the middle of the left hole. To check this, use the hand wheel on the machine to lower the needle. Continue turning the hand wheel until the needle goes up and comes down in the right hole. Adjust the width of your stitch so the needle comes down in the center of the hole. When you're ready, stitch the button. The machine will tie it off automatically. Now raise the needle and cut the thread. Button Sewing Foot Couching a bow in place You can use the button sewing foot to couch a bow to your fabric. To attach the foot, slide the bar onto the back of the presser foot holder and then lower it to snap the foot into place. Some Janome machines have a button sew on feature which will automatically lower the feed dogs. Or you can use a zigzag stitch, but be sure to lower the feed dogs manually. Position the knot of the bow in the middle of the foot. Adjust your stitch width to narrow and sew. To completely hide your stitching, you can use invisible thread. Raise the needle and cut the thread. Position one of the loops of the bow under the foot and stitch into place. Raise the needle and cut the thread. Repeat this process to tack the various parts of the ribbon in place. Button Sewing Foot Sewing on a Ring You can use the button sewing foot to attach rings for curtains. To attach the foot, slide the bar onto the back of the presser foot holder and then lower it to snap the foot into place. Some Janome machines have a button sew on feature which will automatically lower the feed dogs. Or you can use a zigzag stitch, but be sure to lower the feed dogs manually. Move the ring into position under the foot so that when the needle is in the left position it will penetrate just outside the ring. Using the hand wheel, move the needle until you see where it will penetrate on the inside of the ring. Adjust your stitch width if necessary. Sew down the ring. The machine will automatically tie off the thread. Raise the needle and cut the thread. Repeat this process to anchor the ring at a second point. All accessories of the month can be purchased from your local Janome dealer.